We're up at Jarradale for a couple of days and this is also part of a timber mill. Strangely that was the last video we did and here's yet another one. These are the old single men's quarters. Unfortunately it was all done up, a fence was put around it and basically it was left to itself and once again the idiot vandals got into it and last time we saw the place it was pretty well wrecked we'll go through now and have another quick look but I'm expecting it's not going to be in any better shape than when it was when we were last here if you have a look at the manager's house which we'll try and do a bit later on these places are nothing more than dog boxes it's really disgusting how workers used to be treated As you can see from that, they're not in good shape anymore. They obviously had been restored at some point. But like everything else, people lose interest, the money runs out, and then they all fall to bits. These are quite unique. We've never seen anything like them on any other site in the state, and they really should be preserved. Is the old ablution block. You may be able to tell I'm using a different camera to last time. This one's going to be a little bit more jumpy. I don't have a gimbal on it. It does have stabilisation, but... There's been a little attempt to patch up some of these generally unfortunately still in bad shape the idiots have been kicking out the asbestos so this would have been the laundry conditions for workers are not really ideal I'm guessing that would have been a shower of some sort Tub, wash basin, and these would have been shocking places to live. Freezing cold in winter, baking hot in summer. Just have a little quick look and see what's left inside here. The wood is actually termite written, written. I have to be a little careful. All but demolished these things now. I don't know if any of the others are in better shape. This is really bad. Way, way worse than it was when we saw it last time. Yeah, they're in a real shocking state now, unfortunately. They were in at least reasonable condition last time. The old fireplace in there. same design. Something for a little cooker in there. This one is at least almost intact. Perhaps the wood panelling 
saved most of the walls from being kicked in. Missed something there. That would have been a little kitchen area. So an old fridge. Uh, this one's <laughs> been modified somewhat from the other ones. Whether there was an internal wall there at one time, I don't know. Makes it look a bit bigger. Some old shelving. Even a little mantle over the fireplace there. And even a little covered area in between here. May have been used to park a car, but it looks a little small. And here's the last one. Yeah, I'd have to assume the last one we saw just then was this part of the wall had been removed. Certainly makes it look more livable. And as you can see, the vandalism here has been shocking. Nothing done to protect these old places. They're historically quite significant. And as I said before, there's nothing like them around that I've seen in WA. So they are important little buildings in their own right. A great shame they're left in this condition and not given any kind of real protection. Unfortunately, that seems to be what happens to a lot of our heritage buildings. The authorities play at the idea of protecting them by throwing a fence around it and then basically just ignoring the whole thing. Later on we'll go down and have a look at the remains of the old mill. As far as I know we can't get into the site but we can see it from a distance. Not much left of it anyway. And then go down into town where the manager's house sits and see the opulent luxury that they were given compared to the poor old workers. Very few structures left here now. Just that long one and this one that's partially collapsed. This would have been quite an interesting structure at one time. 
shame something wasn't done to make more of it. I've never seen a structure quite like this and I don't know what it was used for. And these some motorbikes in the background. It's a particularly interesting piece of construction. Only a matter of time before the rest of it comes down. And that's basically it on this block. Uh, the next thing we'll go do is go down and have a look at the old manager's house. Last time we were there it was unlocked but the alarms were still on. And I'll just go around and have a look at the outside of it because I doubt there's any way to look at the inside since it's an alarmed building. house. As you'll see, this place is quite grand compared to what the workers were expected to live in. This is just the garage and that would be probably a little bigger than most of the dog boxes the single man was supposed to live in. Even got a vehicle pit for working on the old cars they would have had. a little bit careful here because those timbers do not look too good. Yeah. Well they could turn it into a museum, they could or turn it into turn it into the headquarters for the local history society, whatever. I mean make some use of these places. Well, but an art gallery or something. It's really quite sickening to see these wonderful old places just left could with no like purpose. Gallery, well they could do something with it. Look at the space in there. And all that happens is these places just rot because no one's there to take care of them. Ridiculous. Not if we can see anything in here. Yeah. A little bit. All that space just wasted for nothing. Completely usable and still in good condition inside. Beautiful old building. Even if it does demonstrate the way crosses are treated compared to workers, still are to this very day. Yeah, I mean, perfectly good building. The roof is falling in. Well, that's the trouble. There's nobody to look after the place. And we get this. You can imagine the difference living here and enjoying this balcony compared to living in the single men's quarters. Yeah. Still managed to have an outside dunny there. Well, last time they had heaps of rubbish, remember here? Yeah, they had all sorts of junk in here before. Really is about time somebody started taking care of this place. What a waste. Thank <laughs> you. 
you sort of wonder why they bothered with flow screen here. Yeah, I suppose you could close up the other side there. So this would have been like an outside. Oh, probably here last time got glass or something. Yeah, well, no, maybe fly screen. But this, yeah, I suppose this would have been an outside eating area or something like that. Because they've got a door here, they could have fly screened all of this off. I'll walk as smoothly as I can because there's no gimbal on this thing. Sort of a space under here somewhere. Some sort of storage space. Could have been for wood. And the underneath of the building. Even a walk-in space here. A lot of room under the house. And that, as they say, is how the other half live. Although it's not the other half, it's the other 1% these days. space under here. It's built on the slope of a hill so quite a lot of room underneath the building. And there's a water tank. Stonework, mostly wood supports but some stone supports probably Maybe one of the chimneys. A laundry trough. That would have been mounted up on something at one stage. Bigger water tank up here. Great vines that would cover that area in summer. And a bit of an old shed, the remains of one. <laughs> 